and YouTubers Abdur Sound here from AndroidTechBlackSpan.com right now with Galaxy S3 and right now I'll be showing you how to flash Paranoid Android RAM for your Galaxy S3 using Jelly Bean. So first of all you're going to need to boot into Glaucoma Recovery, turn off your phone, power up volume, power volume up and home button first vibrate let go the power button keep pressing the other two until you see screen says samsung let go the other two and you will end up here i got the touch recovery for clock omar if you don't if you want to get that go ahead and find the link in the description you will find a way to install that or your old clock omar recovery and let's go ahead and get to the process first of all we are going to go ahead and wipe data factory reset Web cache partition then we're going to go mountain storage format data format system format cache go back advance wipe the cache wipe back we're going to go install z from sd card that's your external this is your internal and i'm gonna go to my external because that's where i have mine find where it is and it will have a name pa and whichever name you get for your rom And right now we are flashing the ROM. It will take about a minute or so to flash it and it's done. Now we're gonna go back, scroll down, install Jell Jelly Bean apps. Jelly Bean Google Apps, that's where it's G Gaps. That's what I used to call them. Once that done, press back button. Tab reboot now, or reboot system now. Now it will start rebooting your phone, and your phone will power up. This was just how to flash the ROM. That's a really cool animation by the ROM creators or the parent Android group And yes, it will take time to boot up, as you all know. You're flashing a new ROM, and it always takes time to settle up. And this is it. Go ahead and go check out my blog, you guys. Andertechblackspot.com. Go ahead and subscribe to Abdur7, aka me, and I'll see you in the next video, which will be how a full review of Paranoid Android ROM.